and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where today we are taking on our level 25 Conjurer quest here at the Still Glade Fane. Uh, real quick, as we're walking down this way, I want to make sure our equipment is up to date. And do we have any materia I can stick on? We do have spell speed. I should probably definitely stick that on somewhere. Let's put it on the silver wristlet since that is a spellcaster bit of clothing. And it's our highest item level clothing too, so it'll probably be around for a little bit. Uh, was there any other? Craftsmanship and determination. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need determination. So, Isumi Yan, what do we got today? As a refresher for where we were at in Conjure, we have been working with Sylphie, a prodigious uh, Conjure who is very, very good at healing arts. But she rejects all other aspects of Conjury, leaving her dangerously out of tune with the elementals, which Conjury magic derives from. Which means that she's not deriving from the, na uh, the magic of nature to do her Conjury, she's drawing from her own life force. So we have finally convinced her that this is maybe not a good idea and we've been doing some lessons with her to have her master conjury in the proper manner so she doesn't drain herself to death. All right, Isumi Yan. Brother Isumi Yan requires your assistance in a matter concerning the young conjurer, Sylphie. Welcome, Satora. The tales of your deeds reach me even here in the cloistered heart of Stillglade Vane. Glad I am that you have come, for I would ask of your assistance in a matter of some delicacy. It concerns, yes, young Sylphie once again. As you can no doubt imagine, the recent revelations concerning her mother have sorely troubled the poor child. It appears Sylphie needed some time alone to sort through the whirlwind of emotions which now beset her. She has, in short, fled from the guild. Ugh, crap. Fortunately, a party of conjurers who were dispatched to the South Shroud to investigate another instance of corruption sent word that they have spotted our wayward Sylphie. Considering the importance of their mission, I would not seek to distract the conjurers from their task. Thus, I turn to you to escort Sylphie back here to the guild. You are, I believe, one of the few people to whom she will listen. Pray travel to Buscaran's Druthers and speak with Wolfiu. She was the conjurer who first chanced upon Sylphie and will be able to tell you more of how the young lady fares. Wolfiu's the one who taught us wind in the East Shroud, right? Am I remembering that right? Sorry, we, we've, it's been a little while, you may have noticed. All right then, I will go ahead and meet you down at Buscaron's Druthers then. All right, made it to Buscaron's Druthers where all three of our teachers are hanging out. Hello there, it's good to see you all again, though not necessarily the best of circumstances. Wolfie, what info do you have for me? We meet again, Satora. I assume Brother Isumi warned you of the corruption my companions and I have been tasked with purifying here in the South Shroud. I was informed, yes. The source of this extensive blight is found to the southeast. The shrill, discordant voices of the elementals shriek their dismay in the vicinity of the withered treant. I suggest you give the area a wide berth. Considering the potential dangers, you might imagine how alarmed I was to discover young Sylphie wandering about this part of the Twelveswood. It seems that her mother, a woman who healed with Conjury but remained untrained by the guild, called this region her home. Sylphie herself had her head buried in some manner of tome, but if she is as sensitive to the elemental's murmurings as I am led to believe, then the din within her mind must be driving her to, to distraction. Pray speak with the child and see that she is well. I would do so myself if our current duty were not so pressing. We will, in fact, be setting out at any moment. Alright, well, best of luck with your mission. Let's see if we can't track down- oh, perfect! Sylphie is right here in the Druthers. How you doing? Satora? Ah, I should have known that Wolfie would tattle on me. And Brother Isumi sent you to take me back, didn't he? This is where my mother used to live, you know. Right up until she passed on, folk were grateful for the healing she offered. And this is the journal she used to keep. There's an entry that explains how nature becomes furious when conjurers use their art. How there are always more people wounded in battles when mortals abuse the power that is not theirs to take. Ah. My mother refused to draw on nature because she was scared of making it angry. She wouldn't lie about such things and I want to do what she would have wanted. I'm going to stop using conjury altogether. 
Selfie, this is not a great idea. You'll be using your own life force. And with Conjury, you learn to work with the elementals in tune with them and in cooperation, not abusing them. <sighs> I've never heard the voices this mad before. I bet it's because Wolfie and the others are overusing their art. We have to go and stop them. No, that's not quite what's happening. Ah, <sighs> crap. Selfie, this is not good. Okay, well, let's at least go make sure that she doesn't get herself into trouble. She probably went right for the tree ant, too. Okay, so she's going to be down this way. I think we've been down there before. We were actually making an offering to a dead tree and a while back for a side quest in the area. Oh god, Silphy. Hang on, I'm not leaving this Ked trap to you while you are clearly injured. And there we go. Okay. Silphy! Seriously, are you okay? This is not- Oh, that is a lot of corruption. Wow, nature is angry. Nature is angry. Hang in there, Silphy. I'll get to you in as soon as I can. Alright, how are you holding up? Gods, it's so loud. Can't you hear it? Nature is shrieking in rage. Well, then I guess we're going to have to help calm it down. Oh, we've got a lot. Hello there, fellow or fellow conjurers. Let's do what we can to calm it down. Oh, Sylphie, I understand why you're upset. I don't... I, I understand where you're coming from, but... I don't think you're correct on this particular instance. Okay, let's focus on that Tainted Earth Sprite because that is... That is a huge corruption. Oh, this is the tree ant that we uh, made offerings to. Okay, get that tree ant off of us. Oh god, there's two of them. And they're looking angry. And yeah, we do have elementals. One over on the right. Oh crap. Okay, do we have any... We don't have any area of effect heals. No, wait, yes we do. We have Medica. And the elementals are coming to our aid. Thank goodness. Now let's finish off that Earth Sprite. And the duty is complete. Okay. Sylphie, how was that? Let's check in with the hearers first. Never has the earth so confounded me. I must apologize. No, you did well. We all did well. Thank you for your timely assistance. With the origin of the corruption now neutralized, we should be able to cleanse whatever traces remain. Good, 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 good. You possess quite an affinity for the elements. That was most impressive. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, Sylphie, how are you holding up? I, I can't believe nature actually helped us. There was nothing scary about it at all. I might still wonder if it was, really was safe for Conjures to borrow that power if I hadn't seen the way you wield it. Nothing could seem more natural. I think it's time I went back to the guild. There are a few things I need to collect first, so please, go on ahead without me. Oh, thank goodness. Now I am wondering... Her mother was worried that conjurers using the power of conjury would make nature angry. But it's also been mentioned that her mother was not trained by the conjurer's guild. Is it possible that her mother, being in tune with the elementals, tried to mimic conjury, but did so incorrectly and that's what angered them and that's what made her fearful? I'm curious if that may have been what led to the misunderstanding. Alright, well then, let's get back to the guild and let Isumiya know the fantastic news. 
Isumi on, I return with fantastic news. Sylphie has finally decided that she wants to join the guild properly. At least that's what it sounds like. Welcome back, Satora. And you also, Sylphie. Brother Isumi, I'm sorry I ran away like that. I understand, child. Did you find the answers you sought? Yes, thanks to Satora. She showed me that nature was nothing to be afraid of. I think I know why my mother refused to call upon its power. She believed that the act caused suffering to nature itself. I see. So it was her very love for nature that prevented her from drawing on its strength. Tell me, Sylphie, has the fog of indecision now lifted from your mind? It has, Guildmaster. I understand now why my mother chose the path she did. Full glad am I to hear that, for I must ask of you one more question. Yes, Brother Isumi? When you first witnessed Satora cleanse a corrupted element, you mentioned hearing voices. How exactly did they sound? The voices? Well, they sounded joyful, like a crowd letting out a sudden cheer. I really heard them, I swear! I am sure you did, Sylphie. This is a gift. Conjurers may sense the power of nature and borrow from its strength, but not all can hear its whispers. What you describe are the voices of the elementals. You may very well have possessed the talent to become a hearer. A hearer? Of course, much relies on your studies of conjury. You have a natural aptitude, but have thus far lacked commitment. You must not neglect your training, Sylphie. Putting aside such matters for a moment, I am curious to hear about the disturbance you observed in the South Shroud. Satora, I assume from the reports I have received that it was of a different magnitude to those which you have previously encountered, am I correct? It was massive, actually. Hmm, this bodes ill. The creatures known as mud pies are not native to the Twelves Wood. I wonder what relation this has to the seemingly ever-increasing frequency of these disturbances. Something beyond the damage wrought by the Calamity afflicts the Twelves Wood. I shall commune with the Elementals and seek to identify this threat. Satora, Sylphie, I may have need of you both before long. Until then, give yourselves over to the study of our arts. Ever shall the earth meet your footfall and the wind guide your path. Alright, we have completed the quest. One more to go to finish off the Conjury quest line. Let's see, I'm pretty sure this is a downgrade. Yep. Uh, it's... Swaps out critical hit for more direct hit. But the defense is lower, so I'm going to say a no. Silver Spectacles are also a downgrade in defense, so I'm going to say no to that as well and just take the money. I should have checked if I already have a copy of that wand or if I have better. We have the couple kibble. Let's see, that wand, where did it end up after I sorted? I should have not sorted yet, actually. Uh, here we go, the crooks. They give us a Whispering Ash Wand. That is lower attack, so yeah. All right, fair enough. All right, with the level 25 quest done, Sylphie is on the road to becoming a proper conjurer and possibly a hearer, in fact. That's very exciting for her. I'm happy for her. So our next job now is to take care of the hunting log for today. And we're going to be starting up in the Central Shroud and heading south through to Thanalan. All right, here in Central Shroud, our first target's going to be up in the Sorrel Haven area. And we've been there a few times for hunting logs, but we have not been there in the main story, so I will show the main road. Uh, so the targets we're looking for are... Toadstools in the Sorrel Haven. And to get there, we want to head towards Bent Branch. Uh, but just before we hit Bent Branch, or just after we exit if we're coming from there, uh, we want to turn this way and take the Matron's Lethe up to the northwest area of the Central Shroud. I believe we've been on this for side quests in the past, uh, but eventually we'll be coming up here for the main story. Not quite yet, so I'm just going to keep showing this path every time we go up here uh, until we've been here properly. Alright, the toadstools we are looking for should be hanging out right around here. Ah, oh, perfect, here we go. And we need to hunt, looks like, three of them according to my list. So, let's get started. Ah, 
All right, there's all three toadstools done and out of the way. Finishing off that entry on the hunting log, next target's gonna take us to the South Shroud. Let's go ahead and take a look at our hunting log as we're heading down there. So, our next target is going to be... Hold on, reindeer's a little bit fast. We have increased mount speed here, so I'm gonna wanna be careful going down the matron's leafy. Uh, we should be good. Okay, so our next target's gonna be in the central shroud. We are looking for goblin thugs, and those are going to be over by quarry mill, I believe. So, I will meet you down there. All right, we are over here in quarry mill in the south shroud, and we're gonna be taking the southern exit from the area. Uh, out into the Silent Arbor. I believe we've been down here maybe once? Maybe? No, I think that was for a leave quest off screen. And right over here we can find plenty of goblin thugs for us to fight. Just gotta take care of three, and then we'll be done. They have this annoying ability where they can throw bombs, so uh, watch out for their AoEs. Alright, there's all three, but unfortunately one more decided to join the fray while I was dealing with that third one. So, let's get rid of you, and then we can make our way on to our next target. Almost got him. I think we can do this. We're not gonna die. There we go. Alright, next target is going to take us to Eastern Thanalan. Uh, where we are going to be... Oh, it's just after we get into Eastern Thanalan in the Wellwick Wood uh, on the east side of High Bridge. All right, I will meet you over there and we'll take care of our next target. All right, we made it into Eastern Thanalan via the South Shroud and we're on the east side of High Bridge in the Wellwick Wood area. And our target's going to be a little bit further to the west, but I at least wanted to show the route there along the main road. Yeah, okay, I probably could have started a little bit sooner, or a little bit later in, but oh well. Okay, so right around eh, here-ish? Yeah, here-ish. Let's start heading south, and hello? You're not my hunting log target, but you are a target for the... Come on. You are a target for the Grand Company hunting log, so let's take care of you since we're in the area. Now we're gonna need to sneak right past you because, oops, you are right in the way. There we go. Now let's try not to get attacked by any more Amalja. And... There's a second one right- oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, good news, I got rid of the bruisers pretty easily. They weren't too bad, they didn't do that much damage to me. Okay, we got another Amalja, Amalja Ranger right there. And then I think just one more? Ah, here we go, perfect. Let's take care of one more and I believe that'll, finishing off, uh, that'll finish off the Amalja Ranger entry. Okay, yes, Amalja Ranger, we need to take care of three, and that was entry number nine on the hunting log. Alright, scroll back up to my conjurer list. Let's keep sneaking through here. I probably could have taken a better route. I easily could have taken a better route. But hey, we got 441 Serpent Seals out of it. Okay, we are looking for Kikirn specifically. They should be right around here. I believe this is their camp. Here we go. Kikirn Roadrunner. That's what we needed to hunt for, Conjure. And we need to take care of three of them. Alright, there's the last Kikirn Roadrunner. Getting us up to level 27. Fantastic. Uh, any new equipment we can put on at this point? Nope, didn't think so. Alright then, next target's gonna take us to Southern Thanalin. Over by Little Alamigo. Alright, as we enter Southern Thanalin from the east. We are north of Little Alamigo, there are more targets just south of Little Alamigo, but 
I see a good cluster of sabotenders right here for us to take care of. Just gotta go for three of them. All right, and that's all three sabotenders finishing off another entry on the hunting log. The last one we are going for for today is going to be over in Lanosia. All right, we're gonna go for quite a trip, so I will meet you all the way over on uh, the island of Vilbrand in Lanosia. All right, to get to where we are going, we're starting out from the Red Rooster Stead here in Lower Lanosia. And we're going to be heading over to the east to the road running along the Grey Fleet. We've been here a couple times for hunting logs mostly. Uh, but we haven't been up here in the main story, so I'm showing the road. Just follow the main road up along the Grey Fleet. Take this exit to Eastern Lanosia, not this one. And we'll end up exactly where we need to go. All right, we are just by Cusa del Sol. If we took the western exit, we would be on a completely different half of Eastern Lanosia, and we would have a bit of a time trying to get over here because our targets, the final targets for the day, are Apkalu, of which we need to fight three. Okay, that is all three up Kalu. Finishing them off and finishing off our hunting log for the day. All the way through level 30. Fantastic. So with that, we are done with Conjure for the time being. And next time on Final Fantasy 14. I believe it is time to return to Little Alamigo and see if we can uh, can't find some way uh, to get in with them, get our foot in the door, so to speak, so that the little Alamigans will be able to, or be willing to, help us investigate the Asian La Habrea. I will see everyone next time for that. <laughs>